I believe there's a line of thinking that it's really etched its way into Christianity, and it's this, that my health really doesn't matter to God. But my friend, I really believe that our health does matter to God. We are created body, soul, and spirit. We are three in one, created in the image of God, and it matters what we do with our health. I've heard some Christians kind of jokingly say, oh, well, a bodily exercise profit of little, right? And they're quoting the scripture when they say that. We'll talk about that in a moment. But think about some of these health habits. Americans spend roughly $110 billion every year on fast food. And one in four Americans eat fast food at least once every single day. Think about this, according to the Mayo Clinic, adults need at least 30 minutes of physical exercise every single day, apart from their day-to-day -day tasks like moving around the office. Yet the average American gets only about half that much. The fact of the matter is that God does care about your health. And I don't know about you, but I want to be a good steward of what God has given me. I want right now in my life, as a dad, as a husband, as a leader in whatever God has called me to, I want to begin to build the habits right now that is going to steward my health in a way that's going to make it easy to serve the Lord. And of course, I'm not talking about those that have physical ailments. I'm not talking about those that can't help it, maybe because of AIDS. I'm talking about making right choices and getting to the place where we understand that our health truly does matter to God. Here are three reasons why I think that's true. Number one, you were created for service and not slothfulness. God created you with a divine purpose. Look what the Bible says in Jeremiah 1. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. See, long before you were ever a twinkle in your parents' eye, God had a plan for you. And God does have a plan for you in this moment, in this season of life. God has a plan for you, and He has something that He wants you to accomplish. And can I just challenge you and encourage you, hey, whatever that purpose is, determine in your mind that I want to give it my absolute best. The Bible says, whatsoever thy hand find it to do, do it with all thy might. And what better thing to do with all of our might than the service of the Lord? I think the first reason why our health really does matter to God is because we're created for service. And how do we even execute that service? Well, it's with our hands. It's with our feet. It's with our words. It's with our mind, right? It is with what we do, right? We are literally, as the church, we are the hands and the feet of Jesus, and I want to represent Him well. I want to go the places that I should go. I want to touch the lives that, I, that God wants me to touch. I want to say the words that God wants me to say. I want to be pure. I want to be clean in my conduct and in my thought life. Why? Because it matters what I do with my body. This body, it is His. We'll talk about it in a moment. But this body is His. It's not my own. I've been bought, and I want to steward it in the best possible way. Why? Because God has a purpose and a plan for me. Paul says in Romans chapter 12, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. He created you to serve, and our bodies are the vehicles to get that done. So the question is, how are you serving Him? God's given you these hands. He's given you these feet. How are you using them for the cause of Christ? I think when we look at the fact that God's got a purpose for us and God has a plan for us, then we have to come away and say, God, help me to steward this body because I understand this is what you use to get the message of love, the message of the gospel out to the world. The Bible warns us against slothful behavior that drives the spirit and the body down to a place of uselessness. Look what the Bible says in Ecclesiastes. By much slothfulness, the building decayeth, and through idleness of hands, the house droppeth through. When we succumb to temptation of idleness, we open the door to poor health habits that can affect our body negatively. Habits like spending too much time in front of the TV, or staying up late because we procrastinate on a project. How many of us has been there, right? Or grabbing a fast and healthy breakfast because we weren't a good steward, maybe, of our time. 
And I know I'm treading on thin ice, but it's easier to form a bad habit than it is to keep a good one. So when it comes to my service to the Lord, I want to do the absolute best that I can. I want to serve Him in the best possible way. And part of that is stewarding my health, stewarding my body for the Lord's use. The second reason why I think our health matters to God is not just because we are created for service and not slothfulness, but secondly, is because our body is not our own, it is Christ. As I alluded to earlier, we are bought with a price. The Bible says, what? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? For you are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. See, notice the order there, and notice the Holy Spirit's emphasis. He says, glorify God in your body and in your spirit. Sometimes we get so focused on the spiritual work that God is doing, and by the way, that's how God moves, right? We have the Holy Spirit within us. He bears witness with our spirit, right? He is indeed doing a spiritual work, and the Bible says, as we'll mention later, that the spiritual things, they are of greater importance, but that doesn't mean we neglect the other things that God has called us to steward. Think about it for just a minute. God sought you out. God from the, from the balconies of heaven sought you out. He saw you in your lost state. He saw you that there was no way of redemption except He come and He die on a cross for you. And that He pay for your sins, satisfying the wrath of a holy God and literally taking your eternal damnation on Himself. Literally Christ did that for you and suffered that death for you. And three days later, what did He do? He gloriously resurrected. And because of the gospel, because of what Jesus did for us, the Bible says we are bought. What was the currency? It was the blood of Jesus that He used to purchase our soul. And so I'm not my own. Sometimes I have to, you got to look yourself in the mirror and you just got to say, I am not my own. You got to say, hey, listen, this is Christ. This is for his purpose. This is for his duty. And so the second reason why I think your health matters to God is because your body is not your own. It is Christ's. And the third reason why I think your health matters to the Lord is simply because your body was made to be pure and not perverse. Perverse is simply that old, kind of an old English word, which means unclean or unrighteous, right? Our body is not to be involved in those things that are unrighteous, immorality, looking at things we shouldn't, listening to things we shouldn't, right? Our body is the temple we just read. It's the temple of God. In his book, Mere Christianity, C.S. Lewis says this about our body and stewarding our body for Christ. He says, every facility you have, your power of thinking or of moving your limbs from moment to moment is given you by God. If you devoted every moment of your whole life exclusively to his service, you could not give him anything that was not in a sense his already. God is ready to give you the wisdom for the goal and the power and the help that you need to perform it. And He's going to use your spirit and your mind and your body working together. So I don't know about you. I want to make sure I facilitate the habits of stewardship that make it easy to serve the Lord. That says, Lord, at least in the things that you've given me, whether that's my finances, whether that's my marriage, whether that's parenthood, whether it is this just robe of flesh, Lord, although temporary, God, it is yours. Present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. So I deny the notion that your health doesn't matter to God. And we can just live any way we want to. We can do anything with our body that we want to. We can eat anything we want to. But our health simply does matter to the Lord. And it matters what we do with what He's given us.